to spend the night over somebody's house and was ready to get the fuck. Listen, y'all. That's one, two, three. That's three bad bugs that I done killed in the last five minutes. They in here turned my ass up. Fellas, 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 your hygiene should be important to you. Or lose out on some ass. Or lose out on that pussy, dig? That's just real talk, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Casey, the red pill alpha. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck. Holding her down, locking her down, submerging her down at that game. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, piping hot status, you're going to get it down your phone into your ear, all ear candy gang. Big facts. My video for education purposes only, fair use only. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell once again. You dig? Go join the Patreon. Get Go to my bow section. Everything's there. Fellas, check this out. This whole video threw me off. I, I don't get it. I get a lot of you young fellas coming to me complaining about how women are so disrespectful. How they play the stuck up games and all that shit. How they try to lead you on and not follow through. How they flaky. How they are flaky and, you know, you text. They take a long time texting back. You know, just a lot of Complaints about women. <clears throat> but yet, and still, a lot of you fellas, hygiene are not important to you. A lot of you fellas don't keep yourself up. Should no woman have to come to your house? Y'all getting it in. Y'all doing y'all thing that way. And then she endure bag bugs. For one, why is she even spending the night? I mean, this is totally backwards right here. Now. Her spending the night, her coming to your prop, you know, to your place, you know, y'all getting it in. Obviously, she must have felt you in some kind of way. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then again, there's nothing to come behind you. But filthiness, funkiness, and nastiness, and disgustingness, and all that other shit. That's what's coming behind you, bro. How the fuck you guys... Going to expect to carry on a, some kind of sexual encounters and keeping up the interest within these women. Or trying, you know, get these women to be interested in you sexually, you know. And you don't take care of your hygiene. Good looking out to the subscriber for sending me this. I had a female tell me. And I never had no sex with her, nothing. I wasn't even looking at her that way and trying to get up on her like that. No, not at all. I had a female describe something similar like this. About, you know, this guy that she was fucking with out in Grandview, Missouri. You know, I'm in Kansas City, so Grandview is south of Kansas City for those who are not in Kansas City, Missouri. Grandview is south of Kansas City. And, um... She said it wasn't the bed bugs thing. It was the way he had dog feces and dog food. Just like the dude house was the way she described it, and you know, and dude house was trashy. She said he he was nice looking. He was handsome. He wore his clothes was right. He, everything was cool about him. She wouldn't expect for him to take her to his place, and he's living like shit. She said so when she didn't fuck with him sexually. She was every bitch. She was every hoe. She was this and that. She was everything in the book. He took her out for a steak dinner. You know how you sims be. You know, yeah. Y'all like to go and break bread. 
try to go above and beyond with what I do just to appease the woman, thinking that you're going to get asked that way. And in some cases, you can get asked that way, you know, if she's looking to be laid, I mean, to be laid due to your meal and whatever you got to offer, you know, if you got things behind you, if she can benefit from, yeah, someone will give you that ass. But he went and took her to a high-end restaurant. They ate good. They did that shit. But then she get back to his place. And she said she was feeling. She was she ready to get it in. But the smell of his place, you know, the trashiness, the way it looked and all that shit, she was like, I, I ain't fucking with him. I, I, I can't do this. And she backed up out of the situation. She didn't fuck with him or nothing. And she was showing me text messages and, when she was showing me these things, it was like, I think it was like six, seven months prior to her showing me this, that this shit took place. So it was old Texas. She was showing me and shit, how he was talking shit to her. She was, you know, getting back at him. How your place is trashy. You had dog shit over in the corner. You you know, you, he wouldn't put up his dogs and he had like four or five dogs or whatever. She said, it's play, it was just gross. The way it smelled and all that shit, you know, and. I can believe it, you know, for what I read and seen. I'm like, damn, straight up, man. What the fuck? And the reason why she confided, you know, in me like that is because the guy that she is talking to, like that she was talking to then, you know, he was a guy, you know, getting at me, basically like a client, you know what I'm saying? Getting some of his motherfucking game and shit. And he was talking to her. We was talking and she happened to be there. And she bust out, was telling me how this dude was filthy. She didn't want to give him none. She wanted to give him some, but she ended up not wanting to give him none. She turned him down and left because of his place. His hygiene. That's a part of your hygiene, fella. Hygiene ain't just your underarms, you know, your lotion, washing your ass with the Dove Man Plus Care, and washing your hair, brushing your teeth, and your beard, grooming yourself. That ain't just part of your hygiene. Where you stay at is a part of your hygiene, just as where. Where you reside, your place, your home, is part of your hygiene. Your vehicle that you drive is a part of your hygiene. We ain't talking about the maintenance part. We talking about the inside. Because there's a lot of you guys out here that's riding around, man, with fucking probably rats and roaches and all type of critters and crevices and shit up in your motherfucking vehicles. I've seen females like that. I've definitely seen guys like that. I'm like, this is a man living like this? What the fuck you would think this dude is a... Huh? And I'm not going to say you would think he's a female because I know females that don't move like that. I know females that's clean and keep themselves up. Then I've seen females, you know, cars, you like, oh, no, nah, I ain't talking to this chick. Fuck no. Nah. She's got motherfucking McDonald wrappers and Wendy cups and shit diapers and all type of shit stuck in the window on the floor. She's got uh, open containers and juice bottles and I would have seen a Hennessy bottle in the backseat, all type of shit. I'm like, what the fuck? The hygiene, you know what I'm saying? With those motherfuckers off. But then again, you complain about people not dealing with you. You complain about women not want to fuck you. Check yourself first. Youngsters, check yourself first. And I don't know this guy who plays she out. I don't, don't give a fuck. But this is for my subscribers, man. Put y'all up on it, man. Don't live like this, man. You'll run off the woman like that. You'll run off women, period. Not only women, you'll run off your fucking self. And what do I mean by that? You'll run off yourself. You're not in a normal state of mind when you're living like this, when you're not caring about yourself. That means you let go of yourself in some kind of way. You're either going through a depression, you maybe drugs. Something's going on, you know, that you just can't get right, or you may be just that clutterness, hoarderness, you know, but like the hoarder shit and all that, you seen the TV show Hoarders, and you might be that kind of person. But in order to be welcome by these women, fellas, it ain't always about your grooming and what you're driving, what kind of, how big your house is and how far you stay out there. land miles of your house, and the land, the land, you know what I'm saying, the land square footage and Measurement of your house and, uh, and, and your bank account. Don't none of that shit mean jury. None of that means nothing. If you as a man is not together. Because you got to remember. Your hygiene speaks for you. It shows motherfuckers who you are. 
which ain't shit. You're not shit. If you're not caring about your your place, you know what I'm saying, your vehicles and yourself and keeping yourself up to par, then there's a lot of shit that you don't care about. And women see that clear as day. He ain't together. You know, he's not stable. He's probably weak as a motherfucker. And a lot of you guys that live like this is weak. You simps, you suckers. You fight women, do all that shit. But you living in a fucking, but you living in like a pig sign or some fucking filthiness ass place. Ed, bed bugs eating up the bitch and all type of shit, man. Like, but then you cry and complain when they're not fucking with you. Your aura, fellas, your energy speaks for you. You got to get that. You can't run around like this, man, and think a motherfucker going to fuck with you, dog. Think a motherfucker's going to submit to you, be compliant. I mean, who are you? You disgusting piece of shit. You know, that's how they're going to think about you. That's just real talk. So, fellas, you cannot go out like this. Get yourself together. Keep yourself together. Stay groomed. I don't give a fuck how you may feel about yourself at the time and at the moment. You may think that you, your life ain't right, shit ain't going right, and none of that shit, man. But you care for yourself. Have some dignity for yourself. And then everything outside that you can't control, that's within your control, and you would like to control because it's beneficial for you, it'll come right to you and then it'll be in your hands. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, a banker or how can I put this? I'm going to put some kind of analogy I'm going to use, you know. Hmm. A loan officer. Person that likes to, you know, to give out long, long, short, whatever, however you want to call them. They'll be quick to give a man with two pennies in his pocket a million dollar loan just because of the way he presents himself, his presentation, his dress, the way he dressed, the way he talked, hygiene, all that stuff to par. Before they get this dude over here that's just dressing like shit, the talking, slang, and just look. Like he just fresh off the fucking block some motherfucking wear. And he may have fucking $10 million in equity. But they won't even, they not going to loan him no million dollars. More so they'll loan this man. You get what I'm saying? Your presentation is everything, fella. So keep that shit up. If that makes any sense, which I know it do. You did. Because looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. Oh. Yeah.